Alright, well hello. This is your video about dichotomous keys. These are actually super duper fun. It's kind of like solving a puzzle. So as always, your words are up top. I just included a couple from the kingdoms and then also what a dichotomous key is, which basically just determines characteristics of organisms based on yes or no questions as you figured out on the previous page. So I'm just going to show you how I expect you to annotate these types of problems. Alright, let's bracket this. Which organism is Audrey trying to identify? Identify is like, how do I find this? Okay. I have no idea because I need to go back and read the problem. Audrey is using a dichotomous key, wonderful, to identify an organism. She is studying an organism that is rod-shaped, found singly. It does not contain any spores or flagella. I underline the characteristics that it showed me to do. Okay, I'm going to just box this do not. Um, if you're looking for words to underline, also dichotomous key, I would write shows characteristics. Characteristics through table. An organism is a living thing. So if you're like, oh, there's nothing to annotate in this mess, actually there is. Okay. So what are we trying to identify? Well, first thing, I'm going to find one of the characteristics. I'm going to start from the very top. This dichotomous key looks kind of different from the one that you just filled out. Both formats are completely acceptable. This is the one that you're more going to see on your test. All right, I start at the top and work my way down, and it really tells me where to go. All right, I know that it's rod-shaped. Rod-shaped. That means that I go to step six. Ooh, I go to step six. All right, step six. Now, I have to see how it's found. Found singly. This little seven tells me that I need to go to step seven. Oh, look, it's right here. Step seven. All right. Now, I look. It does not contain any spores. Containing a spore. No. Not containing a spore. This is my winner. Not containing a spore. I need to go to nine. Woo. Okay. And then, does not contain any spores or flagella. This means that it does not have a flagella. No flagella. Also, flagella is just that little thing that helps you move on a bacteria. Flagella is for movement, in case you were curious. Fun fact. Alright, no flagella, which means without. No flagella. Yay! Alright, that means that my answer is Bacillus pestis. This is actually the cause of the plague. Black plague. Terrible terrible disease, but my answer is D. And that's how you should annotate that question. And get started with the rest of your fun dichotomous keys.